Hey guys, it's Maggie, aka Late Bloomer04 from fanfiction.net. I'm here because I am reading my 10 favorite things for the video challenge. I finally figured out how to work my sister's webcam, and it's fabulous. Alright, here we go. And it's excluding pirates and fanfiction and hide the rum and all that good stuff, because we already know that I like those things. Okay, inside jokes is number 10. Uh, I don't know anyone who doesn't like inside jokes because they're just like awesome things that you can have with your friends and family and you can totally talk about them around other people who don't know what you mean and you could be totally dissing them and they would know about it. So there's inside jokes. Um, number nine is midnight movie premieres. Oh, okay, this was great. I love going to midnight movie premieres because you see just like random people dressed up as characters and everybody's just like so excited for the movie like I've been to um, like Harry Potter and Star Wars Spider-Man Batman and most recent one being X-Files number eight I like to play games like board games and stuff like for example there is this game that my sister and I sort of made up and we call it Frankenstein and it's a long story but what it is it's a mix between Pictionary and um, telephone so what you do is you get a bunch of group of friends together and you have like each pieces of paper and you write down a phrase like for instance my phrase was absence makes the heart grow fonder so I wrote it down and I passed it to the next person and they have to draw it and then the next person has to write what they thought that person was drawing and then they pass it on and blah 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 and then when it came back to me it was like this picture of Frankenstein and I didn't understand and what happened is somebody thought it was like my sister's boyfriend and so somebody drew a picture of him and the next person thought it was Frankenstein so I ended up it was absence makes the heart grow fonder all the way to Frankenstein and I don't know how that happened but that was that was a long story okay moving on um, number seven is fruit I love fruit any fruit just about any fruit even like the really random ones like mango and star fruit my favorites are probably like peaches and plums and um, like grapes, apples are good too, can't say no to bananas, pineapple, cherries, pretty much any fruit I will go for, which my parents love because it's healthy, although, you know, I go for chocolate and stuff like that too, chocolate covered fruit especially. And I'm ju just talking raisins, like chocolate covered strawberries, and like, I don't know. It's fruit, so it counts. It's healthy. Number six is Philippa Gregory books. Okay, now she is one of the most awesome authors ever, like, besides J.K. Rowling. Um, she wrote The Other Boleyn Girl, which just became a movie. And she wrote some other books, like, in the historical fiction genre, which, like, I absolutely love. And so, yeah, she's pretty much a genius. Uh, number five, Gabbly Roleplay. Now, I know this is probably not the best thing that I should have so high on my list, but I love it. We're silly. We just pretend to be pirates characters and we just go off on tangents and we run with it. And it's, we don't take it seriously, it's just all in fun and it's seriously been some really good times. So, you guys that have done that with me, thanks. Okay, number four is 80s music. I love 80s music, it's fabulous. I like to dance to it, I like to listen to pretty much any kind of 80s music, pop, rock, whatever, um, let's see, my favorites are like 
Pat Benatar and Def Leppard and just pretty much any of the really cool bands in the 80s. I like them. Uh, number three is Heroes. Okay, this TV show I just got into over the summer and it's really, really a good show. I think everybody should watch Heroes. Um, it's about like a group of just random people and then they find out they have these superpowers and like what they're gonna do about it and it's it's just a really good show. It's got lots of drama and action and a little bit of romance, a little bit of comedy, and it's 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 a really good show. So um number two. This is not going to be a surprise to anybody who knows me. Sarcasm. I I am just a, a girl who's all about sarcasm. It's true. And so if you ever catch me being sarcastic to you, it's not because I'm trying to be mean. It's because I like you and I feel like I don't have to keep being like polite, nice little Mickey. I can be sarcastic Mickey, who's really how I am at heart. So sarcasm. Use it. Okay, here we have reached number one, and it's not going to be a surprise to anybody, but I just have to say it, X-Files, 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 my favorite show in the whole entire world, sad that it's not on, but it had a great run, and just had everything, like Mulder and Scully are the two coolest characters ever and they're totally in love with each other and yeah it just I don't know the show just really means a lot to me and I love the fact that some of the hide the room members are starting to get into the show so yeah let me hold on let me see if you can see this yeah I'm wearing an X-Files I Want to Believe t-shirt. Dorky, I know, but I had to buy it for the movie. So, that's me, my 10 favorite goofy things, and I can't believe it's this long, but it is. So I'm just going to say goodbye now. <laughs>